Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Mount Dirklink. In this episode I want to work on uh, this area over here, uh, right in between the town and this uh, area here, which has the dueling uh, stand-up kosher's. Now, here in this area, um, I think it will be a nice spot to put another roller coaster. And uh, a roller coaster we haven't put in the park yet, but which certainly uh, belongs here, is a bobsleigh coaster, of course. So yeah, uh, I think it also will be a nice thing to do, since we just finished the bobsleigh coaster on my uh, Discord. Uh, the bobsleigh coaster contest, I mean. So, um, a few things I will do here. Uh, first off, you have this path here from the village uh, leading upwards. Um, I will uh, remove this part of the of the path. Um, so yeah, I will have to remove some uh, corrupt elements here, and I will put make the path a little bit wider. Probably just l let it lead uh, somewhere over here. It doesn't really make sense anyway to have two paths uh, leading to the same area. So yeah, I think uh, it will be nice to uh, make this a little bit wider. And that will also give me some more space to uh, fit in my bobsleigh coaster right here. Now, another thing I should probably do is, um, uh, yeah, I don't really like the colors of this uh, coaster, especially the green one. It's really bright. Um, I also got some comments on it that uh, these uh, colors don't really work here. And I kind of agree with it. Um, yeah, I'm going to make the change very subtle. Um, I'm just going to uh, tone down the color of green a bit. So now it's this olive uh, green. And I think this works uh, much better in this uh, environment. So yeah, it's a small change, but um, I, I think it, uh, it definitely uh, yeah, helps the coaster fit into the area more. Um, I think these toned down colors uh, work a lot better with the, uh, with the overwhelming uh, white of the park. Most of the other coasts also have uh, colors that are toned down a bit, like this invert here, for example. It's a very toned down, uh, yeah, a very unsaturated uh, tint of uh, of purple. Also, this coast uh, over here, it's blue, but it's not uh, in your face uh, blue. A bit blue mixed with uh, light blue. Anyway, um, enough about uh, colors. I think it's time uh, to work on this path. Just make it uh, a bit more, uh, go a bit wider, and then I'll be able to fit my roller, my uh, bobsleigh roller coaster here. Okay, um, another thing I should probably do here is that um, this chairlift here, here in the middle, it comes really close to the ground. I should probably make it a more uh, consistent height of the ground. And that will also allow me to uh, yeah, pass under it more easily with this coaster. Because I think it will be nice to have some interaction between the chairlift and uh, the bobsleigh coaster. <laughs> Okay, now for uh, for bobsleighs, there are basically two types of trains you can choose. Um, there are the normal bobsleigh trains, trains, so with uh, these uh, two-seater vehicles that usually have longer trains, or you can go for the six-seater bobsleighs. Now, for this bobsleigh, I'm going to go for the six-seater uh, cars, so that's why I'm also going to make uh, short uh, block brake sections, because uh, yeah. Uh, these trains don't need uh, longer uh, block sections than this. Now, this also means that I can keep the station quite uh, quite compact. And uh, yeah, I'll save these other trains for another spot in the park. I also want to make a bigger bobsleigh coaster somewhere that will have these uh, other trains. So uh, we will see the other one in the park at some point.
Okay, the layout of the roller coaster is done. So um, here's the station. I decided to put the station in a curve to so guests uh, enter the bobsled coaster here and they exit it here. Uh, it, it's just done to give me a little bit uh, extra space uh, to work with here. And I also think it will make for a more interesting station building. Um, over here I'll make a little uh, transfer track. Now as for the layout itself, it's quite compact. So from the station, the cars travel up the lift hill. Uh, first they do uh, just do a few uh, yeah, a few uh, twisty uh, or a few uh, half helixes. And then there's the first uh, brake section. Then after that there's the uh, full helixes. Um, so here's the first one, there's the second one. And after that they hit the brakes again. And then uh, in the final section, um, yeah, this section is probably the fastest. So uh, here they uh, go through a helix and they go down. Here's another helix. And then finally here they hit the uh, brakes again. So yeah, nothing too uh, exciting. I think this will be a nice, uh, yeah, so a smaller bobsleigh coaster. I think it will be uh, fun uh, for the guests to ride. Um, so all that's left now is to decorate it. Now probably for the lift hill I will make some uh, catwalks and some uh, custom supports. I might do some custom supports as well in the rest of the track but I'm not really sure yet. I'll uh, see what uh, looks good here. And of course I'll have to decorate it with uh, foliage, plants and put some fences around it so the guests don't end up uh, under this track. Alright, that's some simple custom supports done. So here under the lift hill I put some of this multi-dimension coaster track that uh, will give it some nice uh, catwalks. And uh, those look really nice under a lift hill. And you'll typically see catwalks right next to a lift hill. Just uh, for use in case of evacuations. But also uh, usually in the morning a mechanic will walk up to uh, inspect the, yeah, the cable chain and the and the teeth on the lift hill that uh, prevent rollback of the coaster vehicles. Okay, um, under the lift hill I put these uh, custom supports. I simply put a double uh, layer of these, uh, what are they called, steel lattice uh, fences or steel lattice walls. And on the side I just put uh, two of these poles uh, right next to each other just to ma make them look a little bit more thick. And I think that uh, this combination gives us some nice uh, custom supports that still look a little bit uh, sturdy. Now I could still try to connect them with a uh, mini suspended coaster track or something similar but I think I'll keep it like this because I kind of like the way this looks. Okay, it's now time to work on the station area. Now I'm doing a little cutout view because there's a lot of high stuff in the way. And I want to have a clear view of uh, what I'm building here. And it doesn't help when the RMC obscures my uh, view of the of the coaster. So yeah, cutout view, cutaway view is a function of from uh, Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And uh, I think it's one of my favorite functions in this uh, that was added to this game. 
So uh, to use it, well, here you can select the cutoff height if you want to uh, only see everything uh, below a certain height. That's also useful if there's stuff obstructing your view. But if you just want to view a certain area, here you can uh, select an area under horizontal clipping. And you just select what you want to see. And then you will only see the part that, uh, that you want to. Okay, now the walls for the station are now mostly done. So the building kind of has an L shape. Um, where when you make a building, um, an L shape is uh, typically much more, or a T shape, or uh, any uh, other shapes, typically much more interesting than just having a square building. Now um, I could just make a simple L shaped roof, but to make it uh, a little bit more interesting, I'll probably add a little uh, tower or something here. Maybe another tower over here. I'll just try to make the roof look a little bit uh, yeah, more irregular and that will generally make your uh, building look much more interesting. Alright, that's the station building pretty much done. So I gave the building an L shape and here I made a little tower. Uh, that's a more pointy roof than, uh, or a more steep roof than this section. And I also put a little chimney on top just to give it a, uh, a little bit more uh, movement. Okay, so now the landscape under the coaster it still looks a bit uh, bare. So what I'm going to do here is uh, just add some trees, um, do a little bit of landscaping just to make everything look a little bit more interesting. So yeah, some, uh, some trees will uh, definitely help here. I will put some of these flowers, um, just everything I can uh, think of to, uh, to make it ni look nicer.
All right. Um, one thing that I think will be uh, fun to have somewhere over here, maybe, is a uh, yeah a toilet for the guests in the form of an igloo. So let's see if we can uh, get this to work. So yeah, I sometimes put an uh, invisible tree in the park. And, uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, I put it sometimes put a tree in the park with an invisible toilet on top, and then call it the tree of life. So um, yeah, let's call this the igloo of uh, life. Well, let's find a nice uh, spot for it. Um, I think we can put it uh, right over here. Now I'm going to stack a few on top. Just so it uh, looks like a bigger igloo. I think uh, stacking two is enough. Now, I hope the guests actually disappear in it. Uh, I'm not really sure if it will happen, but uh, we will find out uh, soon enough. Okay, it looks like the, it looks like they just uh, stand on top of it. Uh, maybe if I stack another one on top, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, it looks like they're always just uh, shown like this. So it may not uh, work as uh, nicely as I hoped. Maybe if I uh, make a little building like this, it will work better. I kind of like the way this building looks and it uh, might actually just work as a toilet uh, just fine. Oh well, the guests just show on top. Um, I'll just put a little tree next to it just so it's less uh, obvious. But yeah, I think this will be a nice little uh, toilet building here. No, we cannot keep calling it the igloo of life because it's no longer an igloo. But uh, I think it's a nice uh, addition to the park. Okay, I think it will be nice to have uh, another person appear in the park. Now here on top of this uh, tunnel for the mini golf, there's still a bit of an empty area. So I think I'll just put a little house here. And in front of that house will be a nice spot to put another entertainer. So uh, let's see. I think we can put a house uh, like this one. Okay, and here I'll put an uh, entertainer. I'll uh, decorate it with some plants and uh, stuff around it. So, um, this entertainer will be named Zarathustra after one of my uh, patrons. So yeah, thanks a lot for uh, for uh, joining in my contests and uh, thanks a lot for your uh, patronage. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just uh, thank you so much and uh, I hope you enjoy your uh, spot in the park. Alright, I think this will uh, do for now. So, uh, in this episode, uh, I recolored this uh, stand-up coaster. Not sure if I will actually keep this color, uh, but I do like it uh, when it's a little bit more, uh, yeah, uh, desaturated, the green uh, at least. Um, yeah, and uh, of course I made the bobsleigh coaster, I, I uh, slightly rid it, the chairlift, so now it uh, passes right over this bobsleigh coaster. I think it provides some real nice uh, interaction. I think it would be really cool to be riding this chairlift and seeing one of these uh, bobsleigh ca cars uh, pass right under you. So, um, for the bobsleigh coaster, um, I made these nice uh, custom supports here. I also made a custom uh, lift hill just by adding some uh, multi-dimension cozy track under it to give it these nice uh, catwalks. And uh, here of course I made this uh, station. Uh, I think the last thing I will do is just uh, modify the landscape here a bit and then I'll add some trees.
All right, I think that was enough building for this episode. So uh, I think for the rest of this episode, it will be fun to follow one of these cars uh, throughout the track. I hope you enjoyed watching me build and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later.